First, a, a big hand for this amazing film. The, um, the incredible storytelling that, has, that is a part of this film, I think, and the, you know, the pacing and the timing and everything that's involved with the process and the humanity that comes into this um, brings a whole new experience to to just what it means to be working together on something with that kind of care. And mm -hmm. the film clearly has also that kind of care. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe I'd like to start by just asking you what the process was of creating the film. Wow, that's a big question. First of all, thank you so much for coming to see this film. Um, in a beautiful Wednesday night, you could have gone out and drink sake instead of watching the film. But uh, we really appreciate um, showing the film and to be able to show the film here. Thank you so much for Asia Society and uh, POV. Um, we are really delighted to be here. Uh, I am delighted to be here. I'm sorry. The director, Eric Shirai, uh, is in currently in Japan. He wanted to be here, but um, he couldn't be here. So I came here um, instead of him. But we worked together from the beginning to end. Um, it was a two-people crew. Um, we went to Bury uh, first time in 2012 in the summer. And um, actually, uh, we met Yachan in New York, the main character. Uh, we are trying to raise a film for Eric's uh, film that didn't actually happen, but uh, we needed some sake donation for the party. <laughs> So then um, we asked an uh, importer to, you know, if they could donate sake, and then they're like, sure. So they came with sake, and then Yachan came along with them because Yachan was uh, working for them during the summer when he's not in brewery uh, to learn the market in foreign country. So he came, and then this good-looking Japanese guy pouring sake to everybody, and then we were like, who is that? And we started talking to him, and he happened to be, uh, you know, uh, he, he, he has a, he's a brewery, he's born in brewery, and he works for a brewery, and uh, he, he was very polite enough to offer us an invitation that we should come visit his brewery when we were in Japan. And it could be one of those polite courtesy, you know, but then uh, we, uh, we are in Japan uh, in, in the summertime, and then we ended up calling him and actually uh, asked him if we could really come over, and then he said, come over. So we went to the brewery, and then that's uh, where the story started. But from that to uh, actually uh, convincing uh, his father to, uh, you know, give us a permission to film inside of the brewery was a little bit difficult because his father is a pretty old school and very dif different from his son. And uh, but then finally we convinced his fa his father, and then we were able to be there. Um, so. That journey is production-wise. We were able to stay there at the brewery um, when, whenever we visit there because it's the brewery workers are pretty uh, tough people, the country people. So New York, you know, the two Japanese from New York, you know, who are kind of Yankees, and you know, they're, they're, they'll be kind of like protective about, you know themselves. So, you know, uh, Yachan suggested that we would stay there with, you know, the workers and actually, you know, spend the day together. We actually wake up at the 4.30, you know, 5 a.m. We're going to be at the brewery, you know, working, you know, shooting them, working and eating breakfast, lunch and dinner together and really, really bonded uh, in a very good way. Uh, so that's why we got kind of the access that, you know, sometimes it's hard to get. Um, so that's the production. And of course, editing, I don't know if there are filmmakers in uh, here, but uh, editing is always difficult um, and it's almost never ending thing. 
Um, but you know, we were at, at the end. Uh, we had a very good editors, and we were able to tell the story that um, we wanted to. So I'm, we were happy with uh, the outcome we got. Yeah. I mean, the way that you told the story is as evocative as the story. You know, with the pacing and the the kinds of choices that you've made, and the and the commitment to the people in the film, and those close-ups of, mm. you know, and the snow, of course. Mm. Snow and rice. Um, let's open it up. We have people who have, on, I think, there's somebody with a microphone right here, and um, I'm sure you have questions. Just raise your hand, and I'll, I'll see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aside from Yoichi's death, was there anything else that um, that happened that was unexpected that kind of changed the direction of the film that you had expected to shoot and edit? You know, actually, um, usually film has the arc of kind of, you know, sometimes something happens and then the story changes to this way, and then you kind of, the subject concur the difficulties and stuff like that. But this was, we didn't expect anything like that happening in, 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 in the story, and we are kind of like, okay, but you know, there's nothing really drastic happened to the story, but then we are kind of showing the beauty of you know, everyday life and working uh, hard. And so, you know, we should be able to make something without having some, like, dramatic thing going on. I don't know if that's the question you are asking, but... Um, um, no, because if it happened, we would have put it in the film. <laughs> yeah. Ah, there is one. Yes. Lady. Well, first of all, thank you for a beautiful movie. It was just fascinating. I'm just wondering if you know these <clears throat> these are artisans in a way, these men who make the sake, but it's also backbreaking factory work, very hard work. Yes. And I'm wondering if you know, do they get paid more than most factory workers, or is it kind of the same? Because it's very difficult work, and yet they have to be artisans to do this properly. I'm just, do you know the answer to that? I mean, I don't know exactly how much they get paid, but I know the, the they get paid, uh, I think, well for the factory workers. That's what I would, I would say. But instead of that, they are seasonal workers, so they have to find the work during the summertime. So that's why younger people are leaving, you know, this uh, brewer, uh, brewery be, uh, work, work, and then start doing something else. And so that's why it's very difficult for the factory to brewery to find a younger generation to work, you know, at the brewery. That's one of the problem that they are facing. We have time for one more question. Yes, the, the brewmaster, Toji, uh, comes across as a very sympathetic and likable character. Was he supportive of the project from the beginning, or did he need some convincing? He was amazing. He was very supportive from the beginning. He understood Yachan's vision from the beginning. He, he and Yachan are very close, you know, as you could see. They're more similar and similar in thinking more than his father is. So I, I think uh, a brewmaster was like, if you think this helps the brewery, please go ahead and you know, we will, I will support you and you know, I'll try to get all the brewery workers to support the project. He, he, he's an amazing person indeed, yeah. Have they seen the film? Hmm? 
Have oh, you yes. seen the film there? And yes. what, what kinds of responses did they have? Um, we went to Ishikawa at the beginning of this year and brought the film. And that was, Yachan and Toji-san came to the Tribeca Film Festival when premiere was uh, when we were premiering, and they saw the film. Um, and that Toji-san was keep saying, "Am I that bold?" <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so that, you know, that's his response. Um, I think Yachan really likes the aesthetic because he's also a very artistic person. Um, but, and then other workers, um, I, 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 we didn't get like response as such, but they're just like, oh, welcome back. I'm so happy you guys are back and you know, you really completed the film. And so they're happy that uh, we completed the film and they, they're able to watch the film. But another um, memorable thing uh, was that Yoichi-san's uh, mother, uh, his father passed away a long time ago, but his mother came with uh, Yoichi-san's niece and uh, sister. And they, they were so happy to see. And then it was so touching. They were crying at the end. And, uh, but it was something that we able to deliver the image of him, you know, move, moving image in such a way. So I think they were really touched by that, yeah. Well, I want to thank you, I think, on behalf of all of us for making such a beautiful film. And um, I'm guessing that all of us will think about sake in a different way and then taste it in a different way. That's our goal. That was our goal. So. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. And thank you all for coming today.